Welcome back everyone to more of our gameplay series of Bus Simulator 21. And in today's video, I thought we would just relax a little bit and just drive around. That's right, just service the routes. We're actually on our hiking route. Uh, as you can see on the right hand side of the screen, our main quest is very much still active. We are like waiting Consuela to pick up slash deliver 30 passengers from the Sunshine Retreat. And right now, we are not quite to that part of the route. We're headed to Gold Island right now, but the way things have been going the last couple of days, I could use just a nice, relaxing drive. And this route has turned out to be very profitable. So as I have driven this uh, at least one more full time, we're now at like somewhere like 83% on the uh, AI no. percentage. Perfect. Parking. Of course we know uh, from the past that the more we drive the route and the better we drive the route, the more efficiently the AI will drive the route. And that's exactly what we're doing right now. So I'm hoping that as we finish up that route, by the way, take a look at this. Level seven, we could have eight routes connected there. You think we can get some tourism going to Gold Island with a grand total of eight routes? Yeah, I think we could do that. Also, so. while we're here, and I think we're a little bit ahead of schedule, so I think one of the things I want to do at some point is sort of take this route with Coyote Bush and do do it in reverse. Because remember, we've seen a lot of people walking down through here trying to get back into the Copper Pot and Greenwood area. So I think I want to take a look at making a route that will service those people so that they don't have to just walk back anymore so that's something we'll look at we've got plenty of money to do that with we've got something like let's pop up the right now yeah 1.7 million and whenever we finish today's route we'll have even more than that we're getting dangerously close to having three hundred thousand dollars per route or per time that we complete a route that is so yeah money is not an issue right now unless they come up with another a quest line for us that's going to require us to spend, you know, something like five or six hundred thousand dollars on one of these buses. Uh, so far, the largest we've seen is what four hundred and fifty thousand, something like that. Oh, there's those wonderful cones. I also love it that whenever you hit a cone, it actually it changes the physics. I mean, you you actually run that cone over. It's not like you just hit it and nothing happens. You hit it almost like it was a boulder or something. All right, folks, I need y'all to hurry up. We got two minutes, which is odd because look at this. <laughs> this van just does not care. This van narrowly missed two elderly people. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. Woo, okay. Yeah, I mean, we're just moments and inches away from witnessing vehicular homicide. Woo. That's one of the things though that makes this game what it is. It's quirky. You know, the AI definitely have their issues. We've noticed some graphical issues and I know there have been other issues with the game with the controls and whatnot. But this game overall is just exactly what I need it to be. It is relaxing fun. Except whenever they start nagging me about driving straight with the uh, turn signal on. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll just do that. Woo. All right, we need to get over. I never but yeah, it's one of those things, if you've had a hard day and you just need to relax a little bit, maybe you're a little too stressed, just turn on Bus Simulator. And just drive around kind of both want to for a few minutes. And just that alone will make you feel a hundred times better oh yeah oh yeah we're getting we're getting better at this loop right here that that is we're getting there all right once again i am not turning my head we're just gonna merge right on in here and hope they give us some room so now we're headed into copper pod in that area and you can see we've got some vehicles spawning ahead of us and I'm sure we've got a host of people walking on the side of the road here. We always do. But there is a ton of people. It's almost like they did an update to the game and added a whole bunch of people 
Because you can see, I mean, like, just walking on the side of the road here. Where are these people going? I mean, do we have a TikTok challenge that says, hey, go walk on the freeway now? Among all the stupid stuff that I see? Is that the newest challenge? Because that's what it appears to be in the game. There's some of those AI quirks. Even when it's a green light, they stop at weird spots for no particular reason. But so far, it really hasn't caused any major issues for us. We haven't run over any pedestrians, I don't think, anyway. I would have to imagine that would be pretty expensive to do that. Oh, bus stops, upgrading. That's another one of my favorite things. Level six. Yeah, okay, this works. Copper Pot is now a level four. I mean, it's only been a few videos ago that Copper Pot was brand new. If you want but now it is a level four. Another one of my favorite things in the game. Level these stops up. It's a great idea that just makes you feel like you're getting somewhere. Now, it says... Let's actually scroll out a minute. It says that these stops, as you level them up, they change visually. Now, this one looks pretty nice. Here on the left, you can see we've got a nice-looking trash can there, more of a permanent fixture. We've got a nice bench. But supposedly, they change their look. Now, admittedly, I haven't spent a whole lot of time concerning Last myself with that. Me with the wrong ticket on the bus. This time I yeah, it looks like I spent maybe right a bit one. too much this time doing it, because now we're getting close to being... Okay. That guy almost got ran over. At least I think it was a guy. <laughs> that was way too close. Alright, we're we're stopped. But I'm not entirely sure why we were stopped. But you can see there's a lot of hesitation in the AI. Sometimes they want to go, but then they stop. And in fact. Just a few moments before I started recording. That's awfully brave, sir. Awfully brave. But just a few moments before I started recording, I had a, a time where I was sitting at an intersection behind one of the AI, and they started and stopped about 10 times before they finally went. Needless to say, that gets a bit frustrating after a while. When you're just waiting to see, are they actually going to go anywhere? Another one of my favorite things, when we get to see our other buses. All right, do we get... Oh, I am such on such a hot streak right now with this ramp. Like the last five times I've been able to get this see ramp out. I am, I am legitimately Bye. excited about that. And there's no reason to be that excited about that. Level six, once again, up to a maximum of seven. All right, we are behind a little bit, but I feel... Okay, so now this appears to be the look of a bus stop that's around level six. And I like it. It's a, it's a good look. We'll have to keep that in mind and refer back to it going forward because I forget the max level of a bus stop, but it is insanely high. When I work. I it's not game. like eight or ten or something. It is insanely high, I believe. Games. So that makes me very interested to see just how different they look. I'm hoping at some point that they'll actually have little enclosures to uh, shelter folks from the rain and stuff. That's what I would really like to see. Because that's the kind of visual upgrades that really, I think, would do the game good. So now, for the rest of today's video, I'm probably going to be focused mainly on the bus stops and seeing where they are. Which means that I'm going to have to... Oh, please don't do that, sir. You have no idea how close to death you are when you do that. Because I'm already behind schedule again. Mostly by my own doing. Oh, did we just catch the... Yep, we just caught this bus just arriving at this stop. So we're going to have a minute here. Uh, and I see the same look. If we look over here to the right, it looks to be about the same. So what is this one? Okay, so this is a level 5. And level five, level six doesn't appear to be. I don't see any difference. Uh, but either way, it is. Maybe I should try for It's a, a good look. All it looks instead. nice and neat. They're so popular. 
All right, do we get? Oh yeah, we got the ramp out again. This parking position is just perfect. There we go. Let's go ahead and upgrade this one. Really now we're at a level six, and we've already seen right. what level six looks like. All right, so we're behind a minute right now on the schedule. And what I'm really interested in is Sunshine Retreat, which is about three stops ahead of where we are now. Yeah, that suits me. Another little quirk I've noticed about this particular bus, it may be the game overall, maybe something I just haven't noticed, but generally whenever you are extending or retracting the ramp, you cannot close that corresponding door or, or open it for that matter and on this bus that seems to be highly sensitive uh, in the past i don't remember it being quite that sensitive and i have just completely missed that stop i knew that was going to happen again that's okay we're just going to chill through it in fact this may be a good opportunity to just see what happens if we just can we just not do it Okay, no, we can't. Looks like we're gonna, the way we're going, boy, this is gonna put us way behind. <laughs> All right, let's see, what, let's see what we can do here. All right, so it just wants us to turn around right now, just completely turn around. Okay, well, if there's one thing a roundabout is good for, it is turning around. A bus is never late. It arrives precisely when it means to. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and follow this. I thought about, I thought quite a bit about just skipping that particular stop. Giving a big, uh, I'm so sorry, to the folks waiting at that stop. And just uh, admitting defeat and moving on. But now I just kind of want to see, is it going to let me use the other side of the road? Because generally every bus stop in the game, that I can remember anyway, has... A stop on both sides I of the, the road. So, I don't know. I don't know if we're going to be able to get by with that. But I guess we're about to find out. These are the things you get to find out whenever you're not paying attention. Alright, now it's just going to let us, as we come back through here. Alright, we're going to be fine. We, ju we just did a simple turnaround here. I was thinking we were in a little different situation, but I forgot. We're just going into the neighborhood. I was a little bit ahead of myself on where I thought we were on the route. It's been that kind of day. Okay, we need... Alright, yes, I'm well aware. Did I get... Yeah, the ramp. I got it out. I, I tried to stop. I tried to stop far enough away. See you. Bye. All right, level four. Now I know we're we're behind here, but I want to see. Uh, All right, level four nice does not have. If you look on the right hand side of your screen, does not have the trash can there. Ooh, next to it, and it appears as though we don't have the. Outside. Yep, there's that door thing again. You can see this lady. I knew we had the ramp down, but the door wasn't open yet. So apparently, I hit the door too quick. All right, so level four, now we know what that looks like. There's definitely a change in the visuals between uh, level four and level five. Okay, so good, we've already learned something. I tried some fancy fruit yesterday. John All right, here we go. We're behind about a minute. Like a mix of and bananas, we've got a little distance to travel before our next stop. We're headed over to Fisherman Point, which is... Hello? Yeah, that's going to take us a minute yeah, it's to get there. So we're so going to be about at least two on? minutes behind, I think. Well, I see. Unless right. we can get some clear there. traffic, get some clear roads. Not hit anybody, of course. I wish I could be an old but here's that area where we see a lot of people walking. Okay, they're just spawning in out of the sky now. But I'm thinking we need a reverse route that will stop over here and then immediately all bring all of these wonderful folks that are walking their way back to their neighborhood by hey, hey, hey. without them having to walk. So I'm thinking maybe just a small route. It doesn't have to go through Gold Island and all of that. I'm thinking just down here 
and back should be really all we need. All right, here we go. So we made it to the stop about two minutes behind. Our seats sometimes have the weirdest patterns, but it's nothing compared to casino floors. All right, and of course it's going to fuss at me for being late, because of course it is. Oh, and we're going to get some more money. All right, let's see what our our money is this time. We're creeping see dangerously you. close to that 300,000 mark. Yeah, 272. In fact, look at this. The hiking route, 31.8. May be our best route overall. In fact, I believe it is as far as making money. So let's go ahead and get this upgraded. Uh, my stomach. All right, of course, we are behind. So I don't want to take too much time. But I do want to see, yeah, yeah there we go. You can see the bus stop. Uh, it's nice. Don't get me wrong. It looks nice, but not near as nice as we want it to look. All right, so now we don't have that far to go if we can get through this traffic up ahead because right around this curve is, I forget if it's a red light or if it's just a yield or something, but if, well, if there's not a lot of traffic here and it looks like we got here right at rush time. But this is Sunshine Retreat that we're headed up to, which is our goal. This is our main quest. We need to deliver or pick up 30 passengers and this will be at least my third, maybe fourth time through this route. But yeah, at least I'm three times. So I'm thinking we ought to we ought to complete that this time. I'm thinking we're going to get it this time. And also, we should be about done and ready for it to tell us uh, our new percentage since I've driven this route an extra time. All right, here we go. Sunshine Retreat. What do you got for us? All right, extend the ramp. All right, I see a lot of people getting off. I want to need a lot of you people to get on. Let's go ahead. Bye bye. And let's go ahead and open up door number two. I don't think we actually need that. Yep, yep, we did. You can see a lady coming off right now. How are we not Hello. completing that? I'm sorry I'm a bit late today. No, it's not the bus I had to wash my hair before I left. I mean, still, okay, that see you. is... Not as much as when I was here last time. I guess it's a little bit later now. In the afternoon. So maybe it's our time of day. Maybe that's what it is. All right, so let's go ahead and we'll get back in. And I'm going to hop up one more stop. And see if we can't complete this route and get our new AI percentage. Because we're still in the 80s right now. Uh, good news is our next stop is just right up ahead. So we don't have very far to go. Because I believe the last time I completed this, we were like 84, 85. So let's see if this is what completes the route. I believe this is right. Oh, look, we got a lot of people waiting here. Oh, hello. Did I just, I, did I hit the post? I, apparently I hit the post. That is a heck of a post. Because it just stopped us in our tracks. Okay, we should please stop. Thank you. Oh, wonderful. These new buses are the pinnacle of comfort. All right, nope, apparently this is not it. Oh, there it is. There it is. Bottom right-hand corner. 93.8. We will take that. In fact, I'm going to hop up right now. We are going to hold down C. Yeah, we'll take that for right now. And I'm going to hop out just for a moment. Take a look at this wonderful, wonderful bus stop. Look at that. That is beautiful. All right, so now being behind schedule is his problem. <laughs> As the owner of the company, I can just walk away right now. All right, so what do we have over here? What is that? That's just a bus depot. Okay, I thought maybe that was a dealership or something. All right, so we're looking pretty good with Coyote Bush. Now, I don't know what it's going to take for us to meet this. I mean, this 30 passengers, I feel like we've done double that. But clearly, we have not. So what I'm going to do now is, let's see, where are you going? Uh, let's go ahead and take over this bus real quick. Do you want to enjoy the ride? 
Or um, I do, yes. I very much do, yes. I want to take this thing over. Oh, this is one of our bendy buses. For tickets every time. And where are you going? Yes, yeah, Sunshine Retreat. That's what I was hoping for. Because we're going to try to just run through here real quickly. Oof, my view is off. But yeah, the bendy buses don't bother me anymore. Because it turns out it's just a, a matter of the turning radius for me. I don't like that huge turning radius because I'm bad enough with a small turning radius. I don't need to make it any worse. All right, here we go. I'm gonna freak these people out because if any of y'all are still there, please don't walk across yet. Because I cannot stop in time. There's a lot of people here. This has got to get us our 30. Can we get that ramp out? Oh, there, there we go. It's nice to be on time. All right, let's open up all four doors. Get everything working. We need to upgrade. Workers, there we go. Workers and tourists all on one bus to Coyote Bush. That's so lovely. I just took one of your buses and might have some useful feedback for you. You see, I went from St. Anthony to Greenwood. And though it was a nice route, it surely took a long time. I think it would make sense to invest in more buses if necessary and install a faster route. Okay, all right, so this is all about a little bit of efficiency and upgrades. So let's just hop out right now because we don't really need to drive this one anymore. Let's just hop out right here at our new favorite bus stop, which now has that upgraded look. Okay, I can live with that. All right, so let's go into the map. So let's look at, we need to install an express route, it says. So we have eight buses. Oh yeah, we got a lot more than eight buses. Create a route with 13 stops. Yeah, we've done that. Drive a route between St. Anthony and Greenwood within 35 minutes. St. Anthony and Greenwood. That's going to be... Do we have a route like that other than... Let's see. That is... Is that Route 10? That is not Route 10. Because Route 10 is right here, just in this area. Okay, so let's cancel that. Uh, actually... Alright, if this mouse will work with me here. St. Anthony to Greenwood. Is that Route 11? It is not. <laughs> Where in the world is this route? Alright, so we know it's not the hiking route. I mean, that would work. That would work. Uh, is that what he wants us to do? Are we just going to drive this again? I mean, we can do that. All right, why is my mouse just not being cooperative here? It is not... All right, this is not fun. Oh, there we go. Woo. Okay, not sure what was going on right there. All right, what about this one? This is Route 9. No, we need somebody that is on... doesn't really matter too much where they are. What are you on? You're on Route 8, so you guys are still pretty early in the process. What about you? You're on the hiking route. Yep, we'll take over this one. So I think this is going to take care of it. Now, it says within 35 minutes. enjoy the ride or rather drive yourself? So maybe we didn't need to get off back there. All right, so do I need to do any upgrades here before I take off? All right, looks like everybody's already on. We've already done our stop. And let's just go ahead and open the doors just in case. Alright, that's all we'll do. We'll just open up those doors. Wait. There we go. Alright, I have to get my combination right of doors. Okay, appreciate the reminder. I think we need to turn right here, don't we? And just, that was great route design by me. Oh my goodness, we do not. Okay, 
I appreciate you, game. I appreciate you. So we'll just go around the world and run this guy over. All right, you guys saw that, didn't you? <laughs> Did you guys see that? Or is that just me? Because I promise I am a bit out of it today. Uh, well, I'm more than a bit out of it. Let's just be real. But I could have sworn it had me going this way. I don't know why. And it's my fault for not remembering the route. Did not go this way. But, all right, we'll make the most of it. So now we're a little bit more behind schedule than we already were. No idea if I'm running a, a red light right here. No idea. But we're going for it. All right, we don't need to start. stop there. We've already done that. All right, so now we are going right on down the road. And we're not turning. I should have remembered that one quite easily because this is our outer loop part. Where we don't go through the city at all. Okay, the good news is... Uh, the good news is... Oh, wow, everybody's going through door number two. I mean, they were just waiting for it. All right, so drive around between St. Anthony and Greenwood within 30 minutes. Let me make sure I'm thinking about this right. Greenwood is... Yeah, Greenwood's down here, so we've got those. Now, right now, we're in St. Anthony, about to leave, go through Gold Island. So, yes, this should take care of that, assuming that the time issue is not a problem. All right, and we're right on time. Only 10 seconds behind schedule right now, so that is certainly not an issue. Excuse me, folks, I'm going to have to get through here before y'all get across. If y'all missed the bus stop, I'm so sorry. All right, here is one of my worst turns. We've talked about the loops, but here's one of my worst turns. Particularly if there are people on the sidewalk right here. Because I have been sideswiped by people going by me in that left lane right there. So it's a pretty tight corner. Especially if there's a lot of traffic, you get passengers or uh, pedestrians in there. It can get a little bit hairy. Luckily it wasn't too bad there. And these guardrails, they scare me to death in this game because the way they just sort of jut out into the road and the intersection, they're just waiting to clip you. All right, so off to Gold Island for our one stop. And then we will make our way back over through Copper Pot and hopefully to Greenwood within that 35 minutes it's talking about. I mean, I think we should be fine with that. So today's video is definitely going to be longer, assuming that it doesn't immediately give us credit and actually forces us to finish up the route and make a, uh, a complete circuit. But we'll see. We'll see. All right, did that guy just give us the thumbs up as we were headed toward, like he was trying to hitch a ride? Because I think he did. I really can't follow what's going on in winter. All right, once again, look at all the people getting on and off. Man, this is what I love to see. So apparently the oh, copper pot in Greenwood area is one that definitely needed to be serviced. Makes me more excited about adding additional buses to the route, really. Oh my goodness, wrong door. I keep opening and closing the wrong door. If you're looking at, let me go ahead and put this, we're, we're pretty close on time. So right here in this area, my head keeps telling me this is door number one, two, and three, but as you can see as I mouse over it, it is exactly the opposite. The first one is actually door number three. All right, I'm gonna need y'all to give me a little room here. That turn is never as tight as I think it is in my head. Every time I take that turn, I think it is going to be disastrously tight. And it never is. All right, so now we can just flow right on through here. Hopefully we don't get any stops along the way. Because we got about two and a half minutes to keep on time. There's our wonderful cone friend. 
Got some boats out in the lake. Everything is good. We're just here. Oh, there's our first stop. Again, y'all are some brave, brave people. Y'all saw me come in with a head of steam. Way more steam than I should have had, quite frankly. But, nonetheless. I mean, look at this SUV coming by. These guys are flying through here. Doesn't make me feel quite so bad about how fast we were going. Alright, let's head back out to the freeway. Pass our wonderful purple truck on the right hand side of the road. Appears to be pimped out for no good reason. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. Indicator driving straight. Got it. You know, every once in a while, there's a part of me that says, why don't we just go into the menu options and just turn that off? But then I remember how much fun it is. And that's why I leave it on. All right, here we go. Here we go. Let's see if we can make it happen. Let's see if we can get through here like the AI did, without the blending into the guardrail part of it. Ooh, that's close. That's close, but we made it. We made it. I was going a little, a little bit too fast through there this time. A little bit too fast. All right, y'all going to let me blend in? I'm trying to turn here. Y'all going to let me in? Y'all going to let me in? There's this one guy that's still trying to decide. That car right there that just went by. He was still thinking about it. He wasn't sure he wanted me in here. All right. Where are our friends walking? Yeah, here they come. Do you want to see a photo of my cat? You can just count on it. They're there every time we come through. At some point, I just need to hop off the bus when I'm not in the middle of a route and just see what's going on. See where they're walking to. Like, where are you guys going? Jumped a red light. I think it wasn't red when we went through it. It might have been yellow about to turn red. But it wasn't quite red. Alright, anyway. The fine was small. $250. I mean, we'll live with that. We got right at $2 million or something in the bank account, so we're okay with that. All right, did it tell me we had an upgrade here? Uh, no, no, we got a couple more visits before we got an upgrade here. Level four copper pot, where are we at? Greenwood, level three. Just killing it with these upgrades right now. These level sixes, we already know. Beautiful bus stops. All right, there we go. All right, this guy in a nice suit. Coming on by, nice green suit, I like it. I'm a fan. Next stop, Apple Farms All right, let's see if we can just sort of stay on track here. Now, remember, our goal is to drive the route in less than, or it says within 35 minutes, Do so I less than 35 minutes. Ticket? All right, as long as we don't have any collisions. Because we like to keep our money, please. Y'all can find me for running red lights, but let's just don't run over any people. I or cars. wonder if there's going to be another season after Ooh. Spring of Affection. Yeah, yeah, just speed I on through there. Not a problem. I don't, I don't know what y'all are looking at. These other cars are talking about me the way the same way I talk about them on occasion. I feel like it just makes it fair. All right, here we go. Here we go. Hit that button to drop the ramp. Maybe I just needed to hit it another time. I don't know. All right, so we're a little behind, but not bad. But not bad. What is this stop? What level are we here? All right, we're six. We already know what level six looks like. Makes me kind of want to drive by one that's just a level one still. One that we haven't been using and see what it looks like compared to our level five and above. Now we don't have anything yet that is above like a level seven. I'm thinking the next upgrade is probably gonna be around 10, nine or 10. 
Do I have a valid ticket? Oh, there's the game trying to let us know. Do I have a valid ticket? So, yeah, if, if you weren't with me at the very beginning of this uh, series, there are some options in the game that I turned off. And uh, there are some things such as selling tickets at the very beginning. Over here on the right hand side, and I'll try to mouse over here uh, without wrecking anything. In fact, let's just hold off. We're almost to our next stop. We'll take a look at it here in just a second. Oh, that was okay. There's a lot of bumps right there. Yeah, we'll come back to this. Let me get my ramp out. Here it comes. Open up the door. Okay, so one of the options I turned off is selling tickets. Right in here, this is where your change on the screen right here. If you zoom in, it, you can sell tickets as people line up right there. That just gets tiresome for me. It's not something I enjoy. Another thing you can do is at each stop, you can uh, get out of the seat, walk back, and you can check people's tickets. And so actually what that lady was doing right there, that was the game's way of using some uh, dialogue to tell me, oh my goodness gracious, people are killing me. This door number two, I've hit that button at least three times I, and it has not closed yet. Go to the movies tonight? Oh yeah. All right, so I need to turn Rome, right here. Small, you might remember you this is a place I didn't turn last time, got I'll us all out of out. whack on our time. Sounds interesting. Yeah, so the game is trying to remind us right there that, oh, by the way, you know, there's some passengers, there's at least one passenger here that does not have a ticket. So you could, as soon as you find that one, it'll give you a, they'll give them a fine and you'll make a little bit of extra money. It's not very much, but it is a little bit of extra money and it's something that you can do if you would prefer. So I turned all that stuff off because what I wanted to focus on was just us driving the routes, creating the routes, buying the buses and so on. That's the part I enjoy. But every once in a while, if you're paying attention, you will hear. Oh, Bye. and there we go. Here's our next payday. Advertisement income. Look at that. 81 times grand. But it's that is nothing huge. compared to casino floor. It also said we had an upgrade. Oh, it's got the, uh, the exclamation point, which means deliver 20 passengers. And, oh, oh you can unlock all the, the red code. The okay, well, that's not Why as exciting as I'd hope. Their own trash. All right, here we go. Let's get everything back in. And let's see if I can get door number two back in. I like can I get door number two back in? I mean, you got yeah, no okay, we're good. All right, now we're over to Fisherman's Point. Which is getting us over to Cowdy Bush now. Alright, so we have officially been to both of these areas that it's talking about. We've been to St. Anthony. We started there whenever we took over this route. And of course now we're leaving Greenwood. There's our people spawning in over the left. Apparently they're just jumping off the bridge. So at this point, I'm hey, hoping, because surely we've been, we, we haven't been at this for 35 I minutes. I don't know about game time, how quickly that's going, okay. but I don't Bye. think it's been that long. So we just need to complete you this round. That new Italian restaurant? And hopefully, salad and bread. we will complete this and we'll see what it's got in store for us next. But I do enjoy the fact that the game, every once in a while, as it's in the midst of trying to get you with all this expansion and creating new, these new routes and everything, I do like that every once in a while it's like, hey, let's just take a pause for a moment and take a look at our efficiency. Maybe adjust a few routes. Of course, we're doing a lot of that on our own, but it's always nice to have a little bit of a reminder. I love that certain people will only go through a certain door. Like, until I opened up door number two, they just would not get on the bus. In fact, that reminds me, here, right before I started recording, again, when I was running this very same route, again, I had a message that I left a passenger behind, and I knew that didn't sound right. There were a few people standing around, but I knew that didn't sound right because 
I was in no hurry. Like, I gave them several seconds. With the doors just sitting there, bus is not moving, doors are open, ramps out, and nobody got on. But now that I think about it, what I believe was happening is door number two might have been closed because, like I said, I, we talked about the issues I've been having with door number two and that ramp. So maybe door number two was closed and that's the only door they would use. That makes sense. All right, here we go. Let's get back out. And go into our new favorite bus stop. Okay, Oop, don't do that, please. Oh, my. Sunshine retreat. Yeah, she wanted to walk real slow. I never but when she saw us coming, she thought that maybe that wasn't the move. That's what I call good right, let's get all our doors opened up. Let's I was get not made upgrade for at our favorite the bus stop. Is just lovely. We can connect seven routes to this. I love this. Love upgrading these bus stops. All right, let's get doors one and three taken care of. Now that the ramp is back in, we can close door number two. But yeah, right as soon as I left that bus stop, it was it was fussing at me. It did not like the fact that I left a passenger behind and I was trying to figure out how on earth they got left behind. So another one of those things I'll just have to try to keep in mind. Alright, so after this stop, um, I believe we're headed back over to St. Anthony real quick. So if we're going to get... If we're going to get credit for completing this part of the main quest, I believe it's going to be coming up pretty See soon. Alright. Good job. This there we go. express route will save a lot of time for lots of people, especially companies will appreciate that. Our a network is getting better all the time. Finally. We already cover half of the city's residential areas. This really is a fantastic success. But the environmental impact of all the buses got me thinking. I bet it How about investing in e-buses? I'm happy to hear you say that, Myra. I actually had the same idea. Okay, so let me go ahead and hop out so we don't get behind on our route. There you can see the ask for the ticket interface there. All right, let me hop off at our favorite bus stop. Yeah, this is the scene I want right here. Now this lady right here, she apparently is trying to socially distance because there looks to be plenty of seats available. All right, so what did we accomplish today? Well, we made a bunch of money today. Uh, I feel like we learned some things. I know I did. You guys probably already knew these things. I'm just a little bit behind. A little slow in getting there, but I get there eventually. So now, it wants us to basically revamp our buses. At least 20% of your buses are electric buses. So we'll have to take a look at uh, purchasing some new buses and see how much these electric buses cost. Remember not that long ago, we were talking about we had a plenty of money and hopefully the next uh, quest line wasn't going to require us to start buying a whole bunch of buses that were extremely expensive but well, we may have just reached that point so the have one payday with an electric bus that's no issue we'll have that no problem but at least 20 percent of your buses are electric we got a lot of buses like a lot of buses so this might be the quest line that takes us along long time so as i leave you today look at what we have just unlocked so let's not in all of this shuffle about electric buses let's not forget we just unlocked bay tree so now i'm thinking we're going to need some routes or at least one route that's just going to take all of this into account and then i haven't forgotten that i want a route that will sort of run through copper pot greenwood down through here maybe loop back around something like that Maybe we need another route that does that. So we'll take a look. We've got a lot to go. You can see we are nowhere near unlocking this entire map. And we'll see if we're able to make it that far into the game in our series. But that 
will be up mainly to you guys. If you guys are enjoying this series, just let me know and we will keep going. But that's going to do it for today. Thank you guys so much for joining me. And this is Bus Simulator 21.